Hello everyone I see that a lot of you guys don't know how to create a good audience for Facebook ads at all heck i have seen that most of the people don't even know how to reduce the audience size by narrowing it down and even those who know don't understand how it works so in this video i'll explain everything there is to understand about facebook ads and how to create a perfect audience first i'll show you how to create a narrow audience This audience will help you in targeting exactly the people who are interested in your products and services. To explain this, I am assuming that you are trying to sell a bike t-shirt and now I'll show you how to create a narrow audience for that. On the screen you can see that I am on Facebook audience and you can go here by clicking on business tools and clicking on audiences. Here I am going to create a saved audience and here you can see the audience size is 350 million because we are targeting everyone in India. I'll add motorcycles here because we are trying to sell bike t-shirts and now the audience size is 60 million. Now to narrow this audience I'll click on narrow audience and I'll add t-shirt Now the audience size is reduced to 17 million. So we are targeting people who are interested in motorcycles and t-shirts both. I read this audience as people who are interested in bikes and t-shirts. Notice that I use the word and when reading a narrowed down audience. Now to understand, I'll remove everything and I'll just add t-shirts. So t-shirt audience is 33 million. Now I'll use Venn diagram to show you what we just did. I started with 350 million as the size of the audience. I'll call it India. Then I added motorcycles which was 60 million and then I saw the size of t-shirt which was 33 million. Then I narrowed it down with an audience size of 17 million. You can see the same Venn diagram when you hover over the i button like this. while trying to narrow the audience people sometimes add t-shirt with motorcycles and that is a big mistake it actually increases the size of the audience the size of the audience is now 76 million which is huge that is why it's called a broad audience by doing this we are actually trying to target people who are interested in either motorcycles or t-shirts i read this audience as people who are interested in motorcycles or people who are interested in t-shirts Notice that I use the word or while reading the broad audience. Here is how it looks in the Venn diagram. I can calculate the audience size by adding 60 million people plus 30 million people and subtracting the common people which is 17 million. That is equal to 76 million, which is exactly what we saw on Facebook. You can see the same Venn diagram by clicking on the I button here like this. So that was all about the narrow audience and the broad audience. You can take this to an extreme by adding many interests at once. to create either a very broad audience like this or a very narrow audience like this You can also increase the size of your narrow audience by adding more interest each side like this. Now you must be thinking of creating multiple audiences to test which one works the best. It's a good approach but after creating multiple audiences you have to make sure that there is no overlap in the audience. You can do this by selecting your audience and going to audience overlap. If you see that there is a big overlap like this, then you can exclude the smaller audience from the bigger audience like this. Now you will see that there is no overlap. Apart from this, you may face another problem while testing multiple audiences that are significantly different in size. This warning will pop up if you try to add unequal audiences 
in your ad set. It says audience size may affect budget distribution. Your audiences are significantly different in size. Ad sets are ad sets with the largest audiences are likely to receive the most budget. This issue is coming because you are trying to use campaign budget optimization that makes Facebook distribute your budget based on the best performing audience. But since your audience size is unequal, it will not work and your largest audience will get the most budget. To fix this issue, you have to narrow down or broaden your audience to bring them to same size. I have already shown you how to do that when talking about narrow and broad audiences. So that is how you create multiple audiences. Apart from this, I also want to talk about a misconception people have towards the estimated reach displayed on Facebook. People think that their ad will reach out to all these people and it will reach out randomly. But this is not true. As you can see here, Facebook has given an example. It says, for example, if you choose to optimize for link clicks, we'll show your ad to the people who are most likely to click your link. So Facebook will not reach out to all the people in your audience. It will reach out to the people who are most likely to convert. And the definition of conversion obviously changes based on the campaign objective. For instance, page likes campaign will reach out to people in your audience who are most likely to like your page. At this point, I have covered everything there is about audiences and I hope that now you can create a perfect audience for Facebook ads. The only thing I left is custom audience and lookalike audience, but there is nothing complicated about that. I hope that you like this video. If you are facing any other issue related to Facebook ads not performing well, please watch this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel TNL Digital Marketing if you want more helpful videos. Thank you for watching.